Hello, I'm Kent Weens, owner of Weens Lawn Care in Parker, Colorado, with a tip for your lawn on a couple of insects called cranberry girdlers and sod webworm. These are a couple of insects that are found in the crown area of the grass plant or where it uh, breaks through the surface of the soil down at the, the bottom of the leaf blade and uh, cranberry girdlers um, are they do the, they both do the damage in the larvae stage to, to the lawns and the way that you check for um, both of these insects is you just kind of pull the grass blades apart and look down in the, in the crown area and you will see um, what's called frass and it looks kind of like uh, a tan colored pepper looking stuff and you'll also find uh, silk tunnels which is where you'll find the larvae and the, the symptoms in the lawn is just kind of it just doesn't uh, it's not quite, quite greening up uh, maybe a little brownish you know appearance to it and uh, typically the lawn will recover fairly well uh, you may need to use if you do find you know the larvae the grubs uh, an insecticide labeled for cranberry girdler and sod webworm uh, usually uh, like I say it won't do that much damage and usually the lawn will recover without uh, needing to repair or replace with uh, either seeding or sodding and now I would like to give you a report it's called 10 things you must know to avoid choosing the wrong lawn and tree service first are they a legal business do they have a registered trade name with the state in which you reside it is law in the state of Colorado every business must have a registered trade name with the state this is public information and you can go to the state's website and do a search on their DBA or doing business as name and see if they don't you probably don't want to do business with them next how long have they been in business just because they haven't been in business very long doesn't necessarily mean they're not a legitimate business if they have years of experience working for other reputable companies maybe they just recently made the move to start their own business but if they just started yesterday and don't have previous experience in the industry you probably want to stay away next are they registered with the Better Business Bureau just because they're not registered with the BBB doesn't necessarily mean they're not a legitimate business it's very expensive to register with them and maybe they just can't afford it yet but you can do a search on their business on the BBB website to see if there are any complaints there against them I always do a check with the BBB when considering using a new business that I'm not familiar with next are they licensed you must be licensed with the Colorado Department of Agriculture to legally apply pesticides for hire in the state of Colorado a pesticide is any chemical used to rid you of a pest in other words herbicide is a weed killer insecticide is an insect killer fungicide is a disease killer next do they carry insurance any business must carry a minimum of one million dollars of liability insurance in the state of Colorado this is in case they do major damage on a client's property or there is injury or death caused by them next how much experience slash knowledge do they have do they know enough about lawn and tree care to accurately diagnose and make recommendations for the problems with your lawn and trees you don't want to be paying them all kinds of money to do the applications and your lawn just continues to look worse and worse because they're not addressing the problems on your property all they know how to do is the applications and that's it next do they guarantee their work some things you can't guarantee such as seeding because good results depend on the client doing their part by following watering instructions and we have no control over that 
but we can guarantee that the job will be done right the first time and to your satisfaction. Next, why are their prices so much lower on some services such as aeration? Well, first you must be sure you are comparing apples to apples. Do they carry liability insurance? If they do damage on your property, will they fix it or replace it at no cost to you? If you pay $25 for your aeration and they do $250 of damage to your sprinkler system and won't fix it or replace it, you haven't saved much, have you? And, if necessary, get it in writing before they do the job. Next, do they keep their word? When they say they will be there on a certain day, do they show up? If not, do they give you a call to explain why not? Do they say they will do something and then when it comes down to it, they won't? Do they quote one price, then bill you for more? How is their integrity? Are they a man of their word? Do they return your calls? How soon? Next, do they use safe products? Are they concerned about the health and safety of you, your children, your pets, the environment, the public, your property? Do they list on the invoice they leave with you products used, any precautions, special instructions, EPA registration numbers in case of emergency, their contact information, your contact information. They should because it's the law. Thank you.